Well, romance and finance are the, the two inevitable sides of the same coin called life. And by finance, I mean business acumen, you know, uh, because everything boils down to money, monetize. I can't afford to say that, you know, uh, I don't have any skin when it comes to finance. No. Uh, even when you are working as a non-finance manager, maybe into like HR or training or maybe uh, marketing, though in marketing and sales there is some kind of ROI which we discuss with our clients. Well, some of us are very good in enabling the departments and organizations to reap good profits. But when you look into their or personal finances, you now they are all messed up, you know. And maybe there is some kind of stigma still, at least in our generation. They say, if you talk a lot about money, then people may think that you are, you know, then you are money-minded, you know. So people shy and they feel a little, you know, uncomfortable in even discussing their salary expectation during interview. I am very clear. I have absolute clarity when it comes to money. You will not see even an iota of shyness, kind of confusion in me when it comes to discussing about money. Yeah. One has to be very clear because we are working. It's, it's about the value of your efforts, your experience, your expertise. So it's not business imperative, it's it's imperative of life. One has to be very, very conscious, you know, understanding where you can invest, where the returns are very high. For example, at the organization level, I recall my days working with Domino's Pizza two decades ago and Cafe Coffee Day as store manager, as city manager, we were supposed to make the weekly, monthly, quarterly, definitely annually the profit and loss statements, you know, sometimes we have to keep a track on daily basis, you know, what are the, what are the variable costs and what are the capital costs and what is the contributory margin and when we can hit the break even, you know, we all understand the ROI. So, Real earning is how much you have saved. <laughs> What's in your arsenal? Personal arsenal as a profession, you know? How much you are able to save, yeah? Because it's rightly said, no money, no honey. You should be able to monetize your products and services. That's what I call as personal branding, as we understand the brand equity and so on and so forth. The value of your expertise, your experience, yeah? For which people are ready to pay money as simple as that when you look at your own nations you discuss about gdp isn't it so for example when you talk about the 20 23 and 24 the 23 last quarter maybe we were at 7.8 and maybe um, overall 8.2 or something like you know we all understand the formula to calculate gdp by different ways for example when uh, CIG, that's C stands for consumption, all private consumptions, right? The I is about all of countries' investment, that is I. G is all about countries' um, government spendings, no? plus NX, that is basically countries' export minus import. To calculate GDP, there are different approaches, for example, expenditure approach, no? uh, or maybe the income approach, yeah. Value added approach, for example, GVA, I mean the gross value added we talk about. And the GDP also, it is real GDP or it is nominal GDP. I mean, uh, it's affected by the inflation, you know. So, you are earning money. So, you are earning money for what? You are, you are earning money that's part of finance. You are purchasing something that's a part of finance and you are investing on something so that, you know, you are your immediate future, your long future is well taken care of, you know, that's also part of finance. Finance and accounting are maybe the technical terms or maybe the educative terms when it comes to prosperity. We all look at, you know, prosperous individual, prosperous family and prosperous nation and prosperous world 